dosa, dosa, dosa. <laughs> Finally doing the dosa video, friends. I know some of you have been waiting for this. And when you see how ridiculously fast and simple it is, maybe you'll be pissed that I took so long. But I've been busy eating dosas. Um, there are three ingredients, really. Two different types of lentils and water. And that's it. And the spices that you use. I will put the traditional spices in the recipe below. If you don't have those, feel free to play around with it. This is a really versatile dish. When I make dosas every day for lunch, the batter lasts me about a week, maybe a little more. If I made it every day for dinner for my husband and I, that would give us about five days worth of batter. So very easy to double it, decrease it. Super cheap, simple, fast. This is a ridiculously wonderful, delicious, go-to kind of food. And if you are looking to lose a little bit of weight, this is an excellent weight loss food. I don't really promote weight loss or diet things. That's not what this is. But if you have been in a situation where you were maybe a little more sedentary than normal, this, this helps with that. Good protein, lots of fiber. I will, I will add more of the benefits of eating lentils below, but yeah, it's so delicious. So grab your two incredibly cheap ingredients and let's get cooking. <laughs> Okay, my loves. So we have mung beans, which are split yellow lentils, and red lentils. One cup of each soaked overnight. Make sure they soak overnight. So they almost filled the container and then I covered them the rest of the way with water. Your lentils are gonna soak up most of the water, but just Drain them. The first time you make it, drain them. And you'll get a feel for how much water is left in them. So follow the instructions. Always a little bit stuck. Uh, follow the instructions that I write below. So you're going to strain these and you're going to add about a half a cup of water, which is pretty much what's going to be left over. I'm using all of the soaking liquid because I've done this a million times. This recipe is super cheap, super easy, super fast. The longest time that's going to be taken with this recipe is letting them soak overnight. <laughs> you know, that's not a big deal. Um, I had somebody once tell me that she didn't want to use <laughs> fresh legumes or dried legumes and lentils because she didn't have time to soak them. <laughs> it doesn't take any of your fucking time. You put water on them and then walk away and go about your day. That's all you got to do. And then they're there for you when you're ready to use them. So all it requires is for you to plan your meals ahead of time, right? You're an adult. You should be doing that anyway. We have all of our seasonings here. We have cumin, coriander, fennel, turmeric, all excellent for aiding in digestion. A little bit of hing also aids in digestion and helps prevent the buildup of gas in the digestive tract. Cinnamon and ginger help to stoke the digestive fire. So it promotes really strong digestion, a little bit of salt and pepper, and we're going to do a little bit of fresh chopped garlic. There's already so many seasonings and flavor going in here that you honestly don't need to do much. I'm not really going to top mine today. This is my little lunch. Put your cap on, put it on high to blend 
it's gonna blend for about two minutes before it gets really nice and smooth. And there you have your batter. You can add a little water to it if you want them to be thinner and then you can use it more like a crepe. So I believe traditionally they're made a little bit thinner so you fold it over the filling. I like to do them a little less watery and leave them open like a pancake because it's really pretty to show off the filling. I just think it looks nicer. And voila, this is the making of your batter. Two minutes. consistency you want. Thick, still gonna run off the spoon. We could go a few more seconds on this, but I think this is perfect. We're gonna leave it where it is. This is so cheap. Red lentils, mung beans, and the spices, and some water. That's, that's it. This is really cheap, and you can buy a ton of lentils for a very small amount of money. So I don't want to hear your excuse anymore after watching this video that eating real food, eating healthy, cooking for yourself takes a lot of time and a lot of money. That is simply not true. All right, let's take this giant bucket of fuck yum over to the stove. Okay just about two minutes, a tiny bit higher than medium heat. We're gonna warm up our cast iron skillet. Yes, that's what you want here. Little bit of oil, not too much. Get yourself a handy silicone brush because your other ones are gonna burn on your skillet. So we just want a nice light coating. So I'm making a baby dosa for my lunch. So I have, I have a mini pan, which is perfect. In a regular 12 inch skillet, I can get two decent sized doses for my husband and I. I am going to, you can use a spray, you can use this, another little drop of oil, just so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the ladle. And just spread it out, get it kind of flat. And this is where you would add whatever toppings. So seasonal vegetables are an awesome topping. I'm gonna do a little bit of ghee, if I can get it off the spoon. So a little bit of ghee. fresh ground pepper, and a little bit of salt. You really don't need much. And then you wanna cover it. Cover it and let it go for about two minutes. Seriously. <laughs> this helps to steam the top so it cooks. And this is not like, so even if it doesn't 
thoroughly cook through. It's gonna get nice and crispy on the edges and on the bottom, and it's gonna steam on the top to finish cooking it. You've soaked them overnight, they're gonna cook almost instantly, and it's not gonna be like an undercooked pancake where you have mushy, wet batter in the middle. It's not gonna be gross like that. It's so good. Um, I'm doing it tonight. I'm gonna saute some fresh fennel and asparagus and radishes for dinner. Um, I have done a little bit of a little bit of ghee, some vegan sour cream, and some fresh chopped chives, which are delicious. Whatever seasonal vegetables are going on, you can make a really nice chutney with whatever is in season. Also awesome. Let's take a look. We're just about done. We're just about done. And if you're not topping it with anything, you can flip it, and then you're really only gonna give it about 10 seconds on the other side. But I like to let the bottom get nice and crispy. It's not gonna burn. You're only at medium heat here, right? So just trust, let it go. Super easy and simple. plate here. Have our little microgreens ready. Beauty, beauty, beauty. Don't forget to turn your heat off. It's shiny because there's butter on it. Throw a little bit of microgreens on there. And there you go. You got a lot of fiber, you got a lot of protein. It's so tasty, it's so simple, and so versatile. I'm addicted to these. I make one small one every day for lunch. Sometimes I'll take leftover veggies from last night's dinner to top it with. Often I'll just do it plain by itself with a little bit of butter and pepper on it. And there you go. It's fucking amazing. Please make some dosas. Top it with pretty things. Send me pictures. Tell me how it turned out. And uh, happy dosa-ing, my friends.